Hi, this is Dr. Joni Lakin. I'm a professor and co-author of COGAT Form 8. This short video is intended primarily for parents or others who want to interpret COGAT scores for a particular student. Schools use COGAT for a number of purposes. COGAT measures the student's reasoning abilities and compares the student to a national sample of students. This lets us know how well a student reasons abstractly compared to peers of the same age. This is what we mean by a norm referenced test. Ability tests are different from achievement tests. Where achievement tests measure how well a student learns the curriculum for their grade level, ability tests are a little more abstract and measure students' ability to find patterns and relationships in the world. This is closely related to their capacity for learning. Therefore, some schools give COGAT in order to compare students' performance to their achievement scores and see if students may have more potential than their achievement scores indicate. Finally, many schools use COGAT to make placement decisions for enrichment or gifted and talented services. Like I said before, ability scores suggest when students have strong potential to learn. Students with very high scores on COGAT may be ready for accelerated or more advanced learning than their peers. This can require specialized services. Ability tests are different from achievement tests because the items are trying to measure the ability to reason and not to specifically assess how well a student has already learned specific content. So instead of testing vocabulary, for example, we might test students' ability to recognize similarities between concepts, such as this picture analogy. Or we can ask students to identify a shared category, like the classification question below. In measuring ability, we want to know how well students reason in different important domains of schooling. Therefore, COGAT measures students' reasoning abilities in verbal, quantitative, and figural symbol systems, also known as nonverbal tests. These are three of the most important ways that students and teachers communicate and share information in the school environment. The test provides many different scores that help teachers interpret students' performance on these three batteries. They can use this information to make decisions about classroom instruction that are appropriate for each student. As a parent or other resource to a student, you can also use the information provided by the three COGAT batteries to help ensure that your student's abilities are developed effectively in these three content areas. You may have received a score report for your student that looks like this. The profile narrative provides several pieces of information. First, there are norm reference scores. The age percentile rank is the easiest to understand. It tells you how well a student performed compared to a national sample of students who are the same age. It reflects the percent of students who scored at or below this student's score. In this case, Aiden scored above about 66% of students on the verbal battery. He scored above 44% of students on the composite score, which combines the three domains. On the right is a description of this student's score pattern and some pointers on how this student may learn best. You can get even more suggestions by using the score profile provided on the bottom left. The ability profile combines information from the three test batteries. Although it might look complex, the score profile can be broken down into three main parts. The COGAT ability profile consists of three parts the median stay nine or overall level of performance by the student, the type of score pattern or shape, and any particular areas of strength or weakness across the three COGAT batteries. In short, the profile describes the student's overall level of performance as well as their pattern of performance. The first part of the COGAT profile describes the student's typical performance across the three batteries. A stay 9 is a score scale based on the normal distribution or bell curve with nine possible values. A stay 9 score of 2 means the student was performing in around the bottom 11% of students. A stay 9 score of 9 means the student was performing in the top 4% of students or above a 96th percentile. The second part of the profile describes the pattern of performance. We use four codes to describe the pattern or shape. An A profile means that the performance across the batteries is about the same. A B, C, or E profile means that there is at least one area of strength or weakness. B profiles reflect the smallest differences in performance, while C and especially E indicate extreme differences across the three batteries. The shape of the profile matters because it tells us what kind and how much of different interventions a student needs to build up an area of weakness. Teachers can use this information to differentiate instruction. The final part of the profile are the areas where a student has a relative strength or weakness. 
This is often the most interesting information for classroom teachers. This information helps teachers decide how to leverage a student's strength or shore up their weakness through appropriate instruction. To learn more about what this profile means for your student, we have the Interactive Ability Profile Interpretation System. This is located at cogat.com. You can go to this website and enter the different pieces of the profile score to learn about your student's performance. The profile site provides an explanation of the student's performance and describes the characteristics of a typical student with this score profile. The profile information also includes suggestions for using this profile information to help students with this type of score learn more effectively. While these recommendations are not exhaustive, they use research to suggest effective strategies for teaching. However, there are many other factors that must be considered in deciding how best to meet the needs of each student. Only someone who is thoroughly familiar with the student, the curriculum, and the instructional resources that are available can choose wisely among the various educational options. If you would like to help as a parent, please contact your child's teacher to discuss some of the ways to cultivate your son or daughter's reasoning abilities at home. You can also support your student's success by helping your student to develop their skills outside of the classroom. We hope you have found this introduction to COGAT Profiles useful. For more information, go to the COGAT website or contact your Riverside Insights representative.